Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Chrome Soft Golf Ball from Callaway. Welcome into this Golf Central update. Matt Adams alongside of Trip Eisenhower. And this was a week and very much a day that was defined by great emotions. This from the Corn Ferry Tour Championship. Every right to celebrate, Trip. This was a very special day. It was indeed, Matt. The emotion, you can see these players. We saw tears from guys who celebrated. We saw tears from guys who didn't make it. But that is the crucible that these players walk through as professional athletes and getting to the highest level, a dream come true for so many. Speaking of that dream, it is defined in hard, cold numbers in the names listed here. These are the finals, 25. And we're going to show you all 25 as a way of saying congratulations and to introduce all of you into those that will be introduced amongst the ranks of the PGA Tour. Quite an accomplishment. It, it was indeed. And you, you look back at some of these guys getting there for the first time. You look at some of the veterans like Ryan Armour, Ben Martin going back to the PGA Tour. Henrik Norlander, another one going back to the PGA Tour. Scott Harrington had a hang around. It must have been it must have been so tough for him after missing the cut. And of course, Kyle Westmoreland had to wait it out to the last minute, getting in by a mere five points. Well done for the former Air Force officer. It is truly incredible that it can come down to such a slim margin over the course of an entire season. And, you know, Trip, we don't get a chance to talk about it too much, but these players having just gone through weeks and weeks of a grind of golf at its highest level and the most acute focus that's necessary, well, they've now got this advantage, at least in 2022, of coming into the fall season, and they're going to be sharp. They are. I mean, we've seen a number of players, uh, Matt, that graduate and immediately make a big impact on the PGA Tour because they only have a couple of weeks off, really one week off, and the next week they'll be playing the first event of the 2022-23 season. They have a couple of advantages, Matt. One is this will be the last fall portion of a schedule that counts on the PGA Tour. And with all the changes next year, they will go from a January to an August schedule in 23-24. So these players will have that extra bit to get a little bit of a running head start. They're playing well, to your point. They can continue to do that, and they can continue to put up points so that they can possibly get a start at East Lake. And, and we've seen a number of players who go on to win in the fall that do actually secure a tee time at East Lake. And now they all also have one disadvantage. They're not playing for 125 cards anymore. They're playing for 70 fully exempt cards, yeah. and then they'll have to play for other things. So there, th there are a lot of different things on the line for these players, but they do have some distinct advantages, playing well on current form and a fall part of the schedule that will not be there anymore after this season. Trip, how about, too, the fact that they can draw upon the bank of experience that they've had going through this? Oh, yeah. And, and the other thing, like I said, I go back to Max Homa, who's now a superstar on the PGA Tour, and he didn't deliver on the promise coming out of college. It took him a while to get there. And he said one of the turning points in his career, Matt, was at Portland, the last regular season event. He was on the threshold. If he had missed the cut, he would have not gotten into the Corn Ferry Tour finals, and he would have had to go back to Q School. He birdied his last four holes on Friday to make the cut on the number. He went on to the the Corn Ferry Tours got a win. He drew on that in his first win at Charlotte. He's gone on to win a number of times since then. But he always says that was a turning point in my career. There will be young men today that they, they faced a up or down. They faced a life or death situation. Not really life or death, but as a professional golfer, your professional golfing life as uh, to the PGA Tour. And they got through that crucible. They got to the other side. And it will be a reservoir. They will be able to draw on for a long time and it could be a turning point in their career where they say that right there what I did today at uh, Victoria National that changed the trajectory of my career and that's why I'm sitting here now in front of you as a PGA Tour winner. Yeah again congratulations to those 25 at the Corn Ferry Tour a championship presented by United Leasing and Financing. The LPGA leaderboard was also incredibly impressive particularly by those two at the top. Look at Gabby Lopez winning on eight 
18 under after a 60 three today. Megan Kang was right there until the end. She fired a 64. Now, after Gabby Lopez secured her third win on the LPGA, our Paige McKenzie caught up with her and she spoke about preparation. She spoke about being calm. She spoke about her work paying off. You know, coming into that every single shot, it's so easy to get ahead of yourself, um, especially down the stretch. But if you if you keep it in the present, that's when magic happens. Well, speaking of down the stretch, birdieing your final three holes. After the birdie at 16 and 17, the 18th hole, you had to make that putt from just off the green. What was going through your mind as you were standing over that putt? I knew I had to make it because uh, Megan was going to make hers. And, you know, what I thought of, of it was I practice exactly for this moment. I want to be here and I'm just going to take care of this putt. If this ball rolls over this putt, it's going in. So softly and uh, staying in the couch, uh, which is a saying that I have with my, one of my coaches, um, we got the job done. Third LPGA Tour win. How does this Sunday compare to previous Sundays and how they set you up for what you experienced today? It's been a, such a completely different Sunday. I mean, honestly, it's going to sound crazy, but today it felt like more like a Friday round. And having that calmness and having that um, quiet space exactly was uh, what we've been working on and it has paid off. I mean, honestly, it just gets more simple um, if I do that. When you speak about simple, we hear that a lot in golf. What does simple look like for you when you're on the golf course? Not overthinking, um, you know, not making more drama than it, than it is because we sometimes like to overreact after, you know, a, miss, a mistake or a missed shot. So sometimes just being, uh, being able to accept and being able to say like, you know what? Okay, it's fine. I'm going to get up and down from there. So, yeah. Did you feel like you had moments like that today where maybe it wasn't as smooth sailing, where you got to that, where you needed those three at the end? Did you have those moments you felt like you had to overcome today? For sure. Um, I missed a five, six footer on nine, and then another six footer on 11. And, you know, you, get, you start doubting all of a sudden, doubts come into your mind. But, uh, you know, my caddy said to me, hey, we just keep doing what we're doing because um, it's definitely working and we're going to commit that to the last hole and we'll see what happens. Well, congratulations. Any big celebrations for tonight? We are having Bolognese pasta at my uh, host family um, house, and I'm really, really excited to, you know, celebrate with them because it just feels like I'm, you know, part of the family now. Bolognese pasta sounds like a pretty good plan, Trip. Yeah. You know, so I don't know what it was, but so much of what we saw from the Corn Ferry Tour this week and even at the LPGA, maybe it's because we're in September now, it felt like a glimpse of the future. Well, it did. But, I mean, Gabby Lopez now a three-time winner on the LPGA Tour. She's won in even years. She won in 2018, 2020, 2022. The work she did with Steve Yellen, her sports psychologist, where she said she was calm and in the moment and able to perform. That's nirvana for a golfer. You love to be in that. We call it the zone. Everybody tries to get in the zone. When you're in the zone, you try to stay there. It's just a great place to play golf from. And Gabby Lopez was doing that. In fact, her last 32 holes, she was 14 under par you talk about closing wow. fast see that was the horse that was running fast at the mm -hmm. end and nobody could catch her and as she said when that putt went in she said vamos and i guess she meant vamos to some pasta bolognese i'm a little bit jealous i like pasta bolognese <laughs> i do too there's no doubt about that uh and, and also the winner is being painted out of the corn fairy tour championship how about that and it's like whipped it out that's talent. Thanks for joining us.